In the previous tip, I showed you how to compare to a selected state using a set action. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to compare to a selected bar using a parameter action. As an example, we have the simple bar chart that is sales by subcategory. If I click on a subcategory, all other subcategories compare to the one you click. When I click off, everything sets back to a regular bar chart. How do we do that? First, let's drag subcategory to the rows. I then need to create a parameter that I'm going to call subcategory parameter. I'm going to change the data type to a string and to start with I'm just going to choose maybe art because that's the easiest one to type. I then need to create a calculated field. I'm going to say so let's call this the value for selected subcategory. Okay so we're going to say if the subcategory is equal to my subcategory parameter then I want to return sales. End. Let's see what happens here. If we drag that into the view, you'll notice we only get the value for one bar. I'm going to put sales in the view as well. We want to compare this bar for the one we selected to all other bars. So to, to do that, I'm going to create another calculated field. I'm just going to call it difference. So we're going to look at the sum of sales minus the sales for the selected value. Let's drag that one into the view. I notice that we only get one bar. We have 16 nulls because we cannot compare binders to a null value on its row. So what we need to do is we need this art value to populate all the way down the view and we can do that with a level of detail expression. So let's edit our calculation that has the value for the selected subcategory. We're going to wrap that in a level of detail expression we're going to make it a fixed level de detail expression that fixes on nothing and then sum and then close off the level of detail expression. When I hit apply, notice now my value gets populated all the way down the view and because they're available on the same row, my difference now calculates as well. Okay, but we also need to han handle the, uh, the, um, uh, the scenario where our um, sales might get returned as null. So to do that, we're just going to wrap the whole function in a zn. That'll convert any nulls to zeros. So now we have those two values that we needed to create in order to build the bar, uh, the bar chart. And we need to set up our parameter action. I'm going to go to Worksheet Actions. I'm going to add a change parameter action. Let's call it update sub category parameter. Notice how I name these so I know exactly what I'm doing in the parameter. The parameter I'm trying to update is the subcategory parameter and what I'm trying to do to it is update it. I need to pick my target parameter which is my subcategory and then my source field is going to be my subcategory. I want to run it when they click on something and when they clear the value I want to reset it. So in other words I'm going to set the value to nothing. Hit OK, hit OK again, and now when I click on accessories, everything compares to accessories. But notice how everything's grayed out. When I click off, everything's back to the way it was. So to fix that, we're going to create a highlight action. So let's create a new calculated field called dummy. And all it's going to do is have this, the word dummy as a string. Drag that onto the detail shelf. And you may not be able to notice, but there's this ever so slight gray bar around the or gray box around the outside of each bar. So I'm going to click on my color shelf and just remove that border. Now I'm going to set up another action that is a highlight action. So choose add action highlight. I'm going to call this highlight dummy. In the target fields, I'm going to choose selected fields and choose dummy. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now when I click on appliances, everything compares to appliances. I click on copiers, everything compares to copiers. We could then also maybe put our difference field onto the color shelf. And now we can see the difference between a red to blue, uh, sorry, an orange to blue color palette. 
If you're going to use a diverging color palette, make sure you set the center to zero. Now when I click off the view, it resets to a regular bar chart. If you're going to put this in a dashboard, remember that you have to set up your actions again. So I've dragged my sheet into the dashboard, and I'm going to go into my worksheet actions. Make sure you have that worksheet highlighted first. I'm going to edit my change parameter action, change my source sheet to the dashboard, make sure that sheet one is checked, and hit OK. Let's do the same thing for the dummy. I'm going to change my source sheet to the dashboard, change my target to the dashboard, but make sure you only have that one sheet checked, and hit OK. Click here, and everything works perfectly. That's all there is to it. Have a good day.